G'day, you're Rotten Lot. Thank you very much for tuning into the channel today. Thank you for spending some time with us here at the Pedal Picasso. Just give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Anything you do like that really helps the channel out a lot and it's absolutely free to you. Now, today we have this incredibly rare, vintage, premium condition electro harmonics polyphase. It's a very interesting pedal. It's in one of those you know, trapezoid shaped uh, cases. It's in beautiful condition. Um, it even comes with its box and it has a little bit of box candy. Oh, there it is. There's the box. He has the box. There is a little bit of box candy in there as well. There's a, the original uh, warranty card and a few other little bits and pieces, which is awesome. Now, this pedal, this pedal is uh, has been bought by uh, Verley at Past Effects, who, uh, Past Effects, if you don't already know, bring back very rare and hard to find guitar pedals. Uh, and they sort of make modern recreations of them for modern pedal boards and uh, put them out there for uh, slobs like you and me to buy. I've got uh, like their uh, CE1, the original big Roland CE1 pedal. I've got their new version of that, uh, which is totally awesome. So, you know, if you're looking for a pair of pedals, get, jump on Past Effects. The link's down in the uh, description down in the bottom of this video. Anyway. This is Verley's pedal. She found it on Facebook. She lives in Queensland, two states away. I lived all the way down to Victoria, for those of you that know Australia. So it was only an hour and sort of a half away for me. So I went down and picked it up for her. And she said, before you send it back to me, why don't you have a play around with it and uh, make a video with it? So here we are. This is it, the polyphase. There's two different modes. There is the standard phaser that everybody knows and loves. And then there is an envelope controlled phaser. Which means the harder you hit it, the more you trigger the envelope and the more phasier your phaser becomes. So I'm going to start it in the switch up the top here. I'm going to put it just into normal phaser mode that everybody will be familiar with. The two knobs for normal phaser mode are feedback and rate. That's all we get. I have my direct output and my affected output going in stereo into HX native today. So I'm just going direct into the computer uh, using the HX native plugin and I've got it on a Fender Deluxe Reverb. Pretty simple. Little bit of uh, reverb. Sounds like a Fender Twin to me. And the other knob is just an on-off knob. I'm not going to hit it because it goes bang. And this is the uh, 240 volt version, which was made specifically for Australia here because we have 240 volts here. None of that weak bloody 100 volts or 110 volts like the rest of the world. No, Australia, if you're going to get electrocuted, you will die like everything else in this country. Snakes, spiders, drop bears. It will kill you. Um, so we've gone the full 240 volts. <laughs> Go Australia. So that is plugged in here. That's going over to a, an isolated power supply. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. I'm going to start with the feedback almost all the way up because even though it's chirpy, It lets you hear more clearly how fast everything is going. So, the rate knob is very strangely tapered. It has, it goes from almost no movement at all, as you would expect. As you bring it up, you can hear it cycling through the LFO. Just past 12 o'clock, it's up to where I would have it for funky stuff. About that tempo. Up towards that sort of two o'clock, three o'clock, it starts to get really fast. Once you get to that three o'clock mark, it goes so fast it ends up in almost ring modulation territory. 
So you can hear it now. You can't audibly hear the LFO going. It's so fast. So it's really touchy. After 3 o'clock, it just goes absolutely crazy. Now, that might be a problem with the pot because this is all the pots are original. Everything in this pedal is original. Right. Now, the feedback knob. That's off. This is on. You can hear there's really not much phase signal coming through without any feedback. Once you get around to that sort of two o'clock mark, the phasing really becomes obvious. And then it almost gets up to self-oscillation and chirpiness. Up full. So now I've sort of got a reasonable sort of phase tone dialed in. Next to uh, Verley's uh, polyphase, you can see here I've got the past effects mischief. This is a rat with a heap of different rats built into it as well. All different options, a couple of different clipping options, a couple of different bass options. <laughs> My favorite drive pedal at the moment, so uh, I've been using it on everything. So let's see how this bad boy takes dirt now. Let's let's do it. Pretty awesome. All right. Now, the envelope mode. It's a little bit of a mystery. Because not only can you have an envelope which opens up and closes, you can also have a separate rate and depth of, uh, of modulation in there as well. So if I turn that the rate and the modulation down... You can hear it sort of opening up a tiny bit like an auto wah. <laughs> then, as well as that envelope, you can also have its, its own separate uh, phaser modulation and rate as well. So you sort of get this phaser going wah, 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 but you also sort of get this auto wire envelope closing down of phase as well. It's a really, really interesting effect. It's a really interesting combination of effects. It would sound pretty cool on a uh, Rhodes as well or something like that, I reckon.
It is a really, really interesting effect. I'm sure there will be some things on there I have missed. God knows what they are, and God help me. Um, there's not a huge amount of uh, rock-solid evidence on what this thing actually does, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's enough of that. So anyway, this is a very old vintage polyphase. Um, I'll have to work out what year it is. I'll put it on the screen. And uh, thank you, Verly, one, for uh, letting me play around with it before I uh, send it back to you. But also, two, thank you for the amazing mischief, which is a rat pedal. Uh, you guys need to go and check us out. There's another whole video on the mischief on our channel that goes right through all the hundreds of different features the bloody things got built into it. It took me ages to make the video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look back at this really old pedal. No doubt, Verly will be having a look at it, a look at it for us, and seeing if she can uh, update it for us so we can all have one on our boards, which would be awesome. Again, if you've got this far, thank you very much for hanging in there. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Anything you do like that really helps the channel out, and we really appreciate it. So, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.